Hey guys, welcome to another video for anatomy and physiology. In this video, we're looking at the third phase in muscle contraction. And we're looking at the actual contraction phase, meaning the belly of the muscle is actually being shortened. It's being contracted, it's being made smaller from the elongated position. So what is actually happening at the muscle fiber stage? So we're gonna break it down into four um, steps. First is the myosin ATPase, the cross bridge formation, the power stroke, and then the recovery stroke. And all of these require ATP. So ATP is, uh, ATP at this first stage, we have an ATP molecule attached to the myosin head. And that myosin head is at the, is basically at the relaxed stage. So there's nothing really going on. Let's say you wake up and now your body's ready to move. So we have, there's a molecule, an enzyme called ATP myosin, myosin ATPase. And this enzyme is going to essentially break up ATP, adenosine triphosphate, into ADP. And at this point, the myosin head is what's called that in the cocked position, meaning it's getting ready to do some work. So at this point, <clears throat> actually, let me back up a little bit here. Now, recall from the previous video that you have calcium ions attached to the troponin molecule, moving the tri triple myosin. And the active sites are now revealed and ready for the myosin head to bind to it. So the myosin head will bind to the active sites, and this is what's called the cross bridge formation. So now you actually have the myosin and the actin combining together. There's a bridge between them. So there's actually a connection. And so as this connection, this cross bridge formation is being made, the next step would be the power stroke or the sliding of the thin filament and the uh, th over the thick filament. So what's gonna essentially happen, imagine, um, Imagine pulling in a, a boat by a rope, okay? So imagine your two hands on the rope. So how are you gonna pull it in? So let's look, let's go over two scenarios. Let's go over the first scenario being probably the one that you don't wanna do is by, that you pull with both hands at the same time. Now, actually, initially you might pull at the same time with both hands, but the question is, after you've pulled in the power stroke, do you, would you let go with two hands to then go and grab the rope again, or would you let go with one hand? Well, you would let go with only one hand, right? Because with one hand, you have, you're still holding on to the rope because you don't want to lose what you just pulled in, right? So you let go with one hand, and then you bring it back forward, you grab the rope, and then you pull again, and then you just keep alternating hands. Likewise, the myosin heads will keep alternating. So at any given point, you have millions upon millions of myosin uh, cross bridging with actin and pulling in the actin so contracting the muscle so and they're not all doing it at the exact same time either kind of like when you're pulling in the boat your hands aren't necessarily pulling all at the same time because you have one in the cocked position ready to go and then you have one in the pull position pulling the the, the boat in and you can and the hands are alternating as you pull in right because think about it, when you, if you have two hands holding the rope and you pull in with both hands at the same time and you let go with both hands at the same time, um, it, you know, if, if, the, if there's a current pushing the boat away, you're going to lose uh, whatever progress you've made by pulling it in. Okay, I hope that helped and that make it more confusing. Because um, again, at any given time, you have my, all the myosin as they're alternating and pulling in the actin, it, it's, it's alternating. Okay, it's alternating sequentially. So at this point, this is what we're getting ready for the power stroke now. At the power stroke is where the energy is actually being used up now, and ATP and A and N phosphate are actually going to break up and, and split up, and that's the power stroke. And after the power stroke, for the myosin, the myosin needs to detach and get ready again to do it, and that's where another ATP molecule will come into play. So ATP will allow the myosin to detach from the actin, uh, and that's the recovery stroke. And this recovery stroke essentially is just getting ready for uh, another another pull, another power stroke. So again, ATP myosin ATPase will break up ADP or ATP into ADP and, and phosphate. And then you have the power stroke. You have the cross bridge formation. Sorry, and then you have the power stroke splitting up ADP and and uh, phosphate. Recovery stroke ATP. Now, one thing to keep in mind here, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of rigor mortis, uh, but rigor mortis is essentially when they've come across a body that's dead. Um, and, you know, they call, uh, like I said, you may have heard this or not, uh, you know, they call a dead person a stiff, okay? 
And essentially, the reason why they do that is because call them that is because when typically when a dead person is found, their body is stiff, their muscles are in a contracted phase. And the reason why they're in a contracted phase is because they've run out of ATP. ATP actually allows the muscles to relax. Okay, that's why sometimes. Well, actually, I won't get into. I'll, I'll tell you on lecture as far as some stories that um, that I've actually heard of how people have been found uh, deceased and what happens uh, when you run out of ATP. Uh, so again, with rigor mortis, uh, the body is stiff. That's because the muscles are contracted and they cannot get out of that contraction phase because the body is not producing any more ATP. So here we are at the recovery stage and then we're getting, the body's getting prepared for the power stroke. Okay, so myosin ATPase breaks up ATP into ADP and phosphate and then the cross bridge formation, power stroke, and then recovery stroke with ATP. Okay guys, uh, that, that does it for the contraction phase of muscle contraction. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck in your studying.